there's a dude here. Let's punch him. Now he's doing nine. Can I afford to take that? Yeah, I don't think so. Because we don't have a lot of HP, and HP is a resource as much as anything else. But if you lose it all, well, you're dead and the run is over. So let's get our shivs established. Yes, finisher does do go great with shiv. It was part of the deck I won with. I had finisher in there, and it was lovely to just play like six shivs in the turn, and then do a finisher and be like, ch -ch 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 -ch. <laughs> that's, that's the sound stabbing makes. I don't know if you were aware of this. Right, so yeah, we got a good opportunity to use it here, actually. So can I actually do it? One, two, three, and then three times six would be 18. Doing some math now. 29. I can't kill him, and I don't really want to take damage, so I'm going to have to hold off on it. We'll do a block. We'll go poison stab to get some poison, quick shiv, and then use finisher for six damage twice, because I did two other attacks. Stab, stab. That's pretty meaty. I like it. Right. I can now just straight kill him, I think. Now, oh, I've been weakened. Maybe not, then. Hmm. That's eight, and then three. You know, now I can't. You dickbag. How dare you. Although, I might... Actually, I have an idea. If I throw a poison potion at him, he's taking eight damage at the start of the turn next turn. So if I can just get him down to that, I'll kill him. Yeah, he's a dead man. So let's use Archimedes to replace that with a new potion. And then stab him anyway. <laughs> Maximum stabs! Ooh, I see again, difficult choice here. We've got another, we got a free attack, which does 11 damage, which is a lot for a free attack. Innate means you start with it, but exhaust means you get only one use of it. And then, but poison, deadly poison just gives more poison. Well... Stabs. Maximum stabs at all times. Let's fight another sub-boss. Captain of the assholes, uh, Lagavulin over here. He starts out asleep and defending himself, but if you punch him enough, he'll wake up and be grumpy. But it's generally a good idea, I find, to at least spend the first couple of turns preparing yourself, if you can, uh, using buff, um, buff cards. Yep, J-Dragon was indeed here earlier. He doesn't seem to be here now. Unless I'm wrong. Uh, so yeah, we're going to set up Dexterity and Infinite Blades. And then I'm just going to use a regular stab, because that doesn't break through his armor, so it won't wake him up. It only wakes him up when you get through this. He is still here! Hurrah! Unfortunately for me, doing that damage to his armor did nothing, because he replenished all of it. Good. Yeah, every turn he's asleep, he gains 8 block at the end of his turn, so... Until you start really whacking him in the face, it's quite hard to deal with. So let's throw a potion at him, because I've, I've got a basically infinite supply of these. Now he's poisoned for later. We'll hit him with a weak. And then we'll just go full stab. And he's awake now, and considerably grumpier and scarier than he was a moment ago! So when you wake him up, he is at least stunned for the first turn. But then he starts throwing down 18 damage attacks, which is a little frightening. Tell you the truth. So I can get seven block. That still means I'm taking eleven. Unless I use my block potion. Glug glug. So now I've got twelve block. And I can make it into nineteen block. Yes. And I'm gonna go for the, the full stab combo here. Strike into strike into shiv into fi oh. I used all my energy. I'm a stupid. Moving on. Right, now we got a problem again. Because he's doing eighteen to me and I haven't very little I can do about it. Well, I'm going to throw another potion at him, because, as I said, got basically infinite supply there. We'll throw down whatever defense we can get, and then let's pile on the poison, and let's alchemize him. I get something good. An explosive potion, not particularly. Alright, shiv him and move on. We're taking 11 damage to the face. Okay, now we might be onto a good thing. So he's going for a debuff, which means he isn't attacking. But this is a bad debuff. It knocks your strength and dexterity down by one point each. So you will do less damage and receive less block. It's hidden with a weak. It won't matter, unfortunately, because it will wear off before his next attack. But it's three free damage. And then just... Stab. Shiv. Combo finisher! 
and then block because I can. Should be able to kill him before he attacks again. In fact, the poison will do it for me. Uh, yep, yeah, let's just kill him. Stab. He's dead. So we got some money. Ooh. Whenever you discard a card, gain three block. That's not hugely useful. It does make the survivor card a little bit better. It basically increases the block amount it will give you by three. But my deck isn't so far built to discard anything. And exhausting a card does not count as discarding it. They are different terms. Masterful Stab is fun, but I'm not sure I should take it. Because my deck's already at 18, and that's starting to get into the high range. It is a naught-cost attack that does a lot, though. Which would work well with Finisher. But no, it won't work with Finisher, because you can't use it if you're holding Finisher. So no, we'll skip. This sounds better than it is, but 3 cost makes it not very practical. And this uh, it just seems like it sucks. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, good adventurers go left. So a treasure chest does exactly what you expect. It gives you treasure. Usually a relic. In this case, it's, it's the Tingsha. Whenever you discard a card, deal three damage to a random enemy. Man, they really want me to discard cards, don't they? Fuck. It's mushrooms. You'll notice that these are the corpses of rats with mushrooms growing out of them. Gross. Let's kill them. Let's kill them with prejudice. Let's kill them with dexterity first. He's buffing himself to get a strength boost. He's attacking. We've got the dexterity to defend that with only one block. So let's do that. And then just stab one of them repeatedly in the face. Do they even have faces anymore? I do wonder about that. Do you ever play Darkest Dungeon? I did not, but it does seem like the kind of game I might like. I might look into that at some point. Ah, oh, you can't damage me. I have blocked you. I have blocked you on instant messenger. <laughs> Timely jokes. So, I can kill this guy. If I use Neutralize, that's still an attack card, so I can use Finisher to do some damage. It's a bit of a waste of Finisher, but it gets, it gets him killed. I'll fucking take it. We'll set that up. And we're not being attacked, so... Potion time! That'll do ya. Oh, mushrooms. I need to kill you. Mr. Mushroom. <laughs> fucking moron right here. So, I'm sensing... Block potion into stab combo coming. Poison stab. Regular stab. Second regular stab. Shiv into death. I didn't need to use the block potion. I completely wasted it. It's fine. I can make more. <laughs> this. This is a card that I want now. This was the one of the key reasons I was able to win with this kind of deck last time. Because I was getting so much dexterity that the block amount became ridiculous. And it was just giving me more and more shivs. Because when you upgrade this one, it goes to add two shivs. Which is huge. So I'm going to take that. I really like the shivs. Thievery? Oh no. I think you can all guess what that means. <laughs> He's going to be captain of the assholes around here. So the, the, the trick with the thieves is every attack they steal money from you. And after a while they'll flee the battle and then they keep it. So uh, kill them and do it quickly-ish. We can do a fair bit of... Uh, damage with finisher here, I might actually just be able to straight kill him. Let's see. One, two, and then backstab into finisher. That might work. Let's try it. Stab! Stab! Backstab! Finisher! Not quite enough to kill him, damn! Let's throw a potion in his face! Ha! <laughs> I just wanted that battle over quickly, what can I say? Shiv Tankery! Oh no! What monstrosity might we have created here? Okay, so I don't need two finishers. You don't generally need copies of a card. I mean, you can. Depends on the card. But I don't think having two finishers is particularly helpful. You want to try and keep, as I said before, keep your deck slim. Keep the weight off it. We got some standard card draw, which involves discard, which would work with those two relics. So you know what? We're going to take that. I've never used that card very much before. Could be fun. Right, I should probably start planning ahead now. 
Uh, so the vast majority of what's left uh, is the same. You always get one rest point right before the boss, which is nice. That being the boss right there. Uh, let's see. I've done a lot of combat and I don't really need cards right now. Let's do some question marks and hope for some cool shit. Nice. Okay, so removing cards is always good, especially when you can do it as cheaply as this. Let's try and slim down the deck a bit here. So, what can we lose? Well, I mean, we're going to lose one of the basic cards, because... I mean, they're functional, yes, but there are cards that just do the same thing for the same cost, but better. Like, case in point, later on, you can make your shivs do more damage than your strike cards. Uh, and, in, and in the interest of not dying, and the fact that I have access to shivs from two places, I can get rid of a strike card. So let's do that. Thin the deck. And then I'm going to keep going along the mystery route. I want mystery and intrigue. It's gambling time! I hope you like Wheel of Fortune, because this is basically that. Simple, really. You spin the wheel, and then you get whatever it displays. So, you've got remove a card from your deck, take damage, get money, get treasure, get healed, get a curse card. Those are bad, we don't want this. And Gamblor! We got treasure, wow! I don't think I've ever got that before. That's like the fucking jackpot, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. It's a relic. And it is one I don't recognize. Ninja Scroll. Stage combat with three shivs in hand! Hello! Hello, my new favorite relic, maybe. That's awesome! It's almost like it knew. I think, to some extent, it does kind of know what is in your deck. Because sometimes the relics you get that just fit so perfectly, given, given how many relics there are, seems insanely unlikely. That's amazing. I am the Shiv Master General. <laughs> That's what I am now. Alright, so more randomness. Oh no. So this one's... I mean, this one's just random chance, really. Each time you do this, you lose progressively more health. But eventually you get a relic out of it. So, I'm, I mean, a relic is definitely worth sacrificing three health for, so you might as well try at least once. Nope, didn't get it. Second try. Nope, didn't get it. Third try. There it is. We got the ancient tea set. It's alright, I guess. Probably still worth it. And I'm going to get my health back before the boss because I don't want to die. You can only do one of those two things and on this, on this occasion I needed to rest. Normally I try and upgrade as much as possible. But yeah. Right, let's go shiv a bitch. And by a bitch I mean this guy. He's a goost. He's a hexagon goost. And there's no music and his intentions are mysterious. Also, we have a shit ton of cards right now. <laughs> Teehee. So, oh, if only I had Finisher. I might be able to get it. I do have a card draw card. Hmm. Well, first things first. Let's use this. Punch. And let's shiv him three times. One, two, three. Then, we want to use this. And what will we discard? Defend, because he's not attacking. Perfect. So, ha! Oh, there it is. Beauty. Alright, so you can go away. We don't need you. We get the, that, that triggering because we discarded a card. Mag fucking magnificent. Let's get to more stabbing. So what else can we do here? We got four energy. The, the benefit of the T-set is it gave me two energy for this first turn. So it went with all my extra cards and has given me a shit ton of shit to do. We don't need to defend... We don't need Survivor, because that's basically Defend. Okay, it would discard a card, but I don't need either of the benefits from doing that right now. So, we'll get a potion, which is a Dexterity Potion, which I might be tempted to use. Yeah, why not? Like I said before, I can get my own potion, so I don't need to worry so much about dropping uh, drop rates. Let's use two! Why the fuck not? Let's Poison Stab! Let's Backstab! Let's finish her for 36 fucking damage! It's not bad for the first turn, right? When he hasn't even done anything yet. And also, then I'm going to use Survivor and discard a card to get three more. Zing. Efficiency! Oh yeah, there's lots of cool stuff like that, Sleeves. There's the boss music! Oh my shit! 
He is now super pissed. So he's going to do 30 damage. Because these flames around him progressively light up, and the more of them he has, the more damage he can do to you. So we're going to need to do this. Cloak and dagger. Get us a nice chunk of block and a shiv to use. Let's get some more block, because I might die otherwise. <laughs> so then I'm going to take considerable damage. And then we can stab once and shiv once. That is all that we can do here. Oh my god. Pain awaits. Here is pain. Ah, I'm okay. I'm okay. So now all his flames go out and he has to start over, basically. That's fine. Six damage is not a problem. I can live with that. We can go footwork for future buffery. We can get more shivs, because I love them. And defend to make sure we don't take any more damage. Can't really afford to. We're going to let poison do the work. That's a status card I don't want. I have to hope I can discard that. Hoop, doop, hoop, doop, doopy garb. Let's... I mean, he's attacking. That's quite bad. Really do not want to get killed. Weakness is super important for these multiple hit bosses. Yes, absolutely. I wish I had more access to it than I do, but I don't, so I can't. Alright, I need to think now. So that's 10 damage, which isn't the worst. In fact, yeah, I can deal with it with just that. I don't need to think that much. Acrobatics won't help me, really, because I don't need to uh, draw anything. I'm happy with the hand I have. So we'll go Poison Stab, keep that poison going, regular flavor stab, and a quick shiv in the ribs that he doesn't have. <laughs> Uber garble, Uber garble, Uber garble. This car gets you a little block as well. Yes, it does. But in that case, I was only taking one, so I'm not too fast. Oh, well, that's fucking typical, isn't it? He's not attacking this round, so I don't get a single card that does any attacks. Except this one. Bang. <laughs> oh, I suppose I got my shiv, that'll have to do. And we can do some damage by discarding, and I'll work too. Ooh, Bergar. Because <laughs> when all else fails, you can always. Ooh, Bergarble now. <laughs> you can, you know, he is always an option. Right. This is bad. At the end of the turn, I'm just taking damage because it's a status and I have no way of getting rid of it. Bombs, great hairy ones. This is bad. This makes me sad. Does it make you sad as well? I hope it does. Let's get another shiv out of that. Cloak and Dagger is such a great card, if, especially if you've got um, the means to get lots of dexterity throughout. Right, we can do some damage here. Taking four as it currently stands. He has 12 block though, which is not ideal. I do have finite. Uh, so 6, 10, 14, and then another 18. So quite a lot of damage, one way or another. Let's do it. I mean, what would I be if I wasn't stabbing, right? Disappointed! That's what I'd be! Stab, stab, stab! Super stab combo being deployed against you. There we are. Doing some serious damage with my stab power. It's going to work out great. Yes, exactly right. Sleeves is a, a fountain of information, as ever. Yeah, you can make this card work for you. And there are quite a lot of the silent... Uh, quite a lot. There's at least three cards that the silent can get that can only be used by discarding. They can't be played in the normal way. Um, can I kill him now? I feel like I can't. He's doing eight, so I just yeah, I'll just block. Ramp up the poison and then do some more stabbing. Should have him killed next turn. Preferably before he buffs up to maximum damage again. I mean between the poison and the various stabs I have access to. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Bang! Shiv. Oh, I don't have any more stabs. Let's find some. Nahaha! We'll just call the defend. Take damage! And then be poison stabbed to death! Yes, agreed. Agreed. The Iron Cloud is definitely easier, certainly more straightforward, but I've actually found less deck variety with him. Maybe I need to play him again. Try stabbing, it always works. So you get uh, a rare card from beating the bosses. It's not always worth taking. In this case, ooh, tempting, but I don't know if that's a good plan.
it sounds great, but you do need to be able to plan ahead. Like, you need to know next turn you're going to be doing a lot of attacks. If you don't draw any, then you wasted it. So, I am actually not going to take that. I don't like this at all. I don't, I'm not a fan of X cost cards, because um, you don't get to choose how much goes into that. It just uses whatever uh, the amount of energy you currently have. So, yeah, I'm going to skip the card here. I don't need it. So, when you beat a boss, you get to choose between three relics. All of these relics are kind of shit. So, this one is not something I want, unless I get rid of that potion card, and even then, I don't think that's a good... I don't think that's a good thing. It sounds great, but not being able to use potions as, like, your get out of I'm fucked free cards. Yeah, no. You can no longer see enemy intents. Absolutely no way. Not being able to know what they're going to do completely fucks just about everything. You need to be able to plan, unless you're, like, super amazing good at this game. And I am not. So that just leaves this, which is a little underwhelming, but of the three, it's probably the best choice. It'll maximise the chance of getting decent cards that I actually want.